Hello Gemini, how are you today? Welcome to your reading. I get that your emotions are very much that you're in love with your person, okay? Ace of Cups, you want a new beginning of love. Your person is in a very collaborative mood with you. Uh, the Three of Coins says that they would like to work things out in a practical matter. Uh, it also shows that the two of you might work together, you might collaborate together, you may be involved in some sort of creative process together. We see that the current energy between the two of you is that you're in this Taurus energy. You're all about consolidating what's good, the King of Pentacles energy. You're all about building loyalty, having a passionate life, having the money that you need. Your person is coming in with the energy of, you know, I'm here for a short time. I'm not going to be sticking around long term, but here I am. I'm beating the bongo, baby. <laughs> and so with all this passion, you are on the same page in terms of the passion. The way that you feel that your person is behaving is you feel as though they're being a little bit shady with you, to be perfectly honest. Seven of Swords is that your feeling is that there's a lot that you don't know, and their feeling about you right now and how they view the situation is that you love them, they love you. So, you know, when we look at this, you're viewing them as possibly being a liar, they're viewing you as somebody who is very loving, you know, and and I would feel that that's very much the truth. When we look at the energy, Ten of Wands, you do not want to deal with any more burdens. I'm really seeing you letting go of burdens, that you will let go of this relationship. Uh, you know, that's how you view the situation, is that they may be trying to let go of you. You're not really certain. But it does look like, you know, you just have this feeling that you don't know what's going on. Their energy towards you is magician energy. They want to manifest what they want from you, uh, which may be different than what you want to give. But this person is, it's Virgo energy. It is Ge Gemini energy. Both of you have this energy. You have a good way of communicating. When we look at your energy about how you feel in your heart space with this person, you feel really restricted. Eight of Swords is kind of a card that just says, I can't do anything about this. I just can't do anything about this. I'm going to have to let go of this person. If they're shady with me, if they're not really, if they're not bringing their best part to the table or who they are, you know, it's like you're feeling Gemini like you've just shut down. Now, how they feel is they want to make it work. The temperance card is all about reconciliation, trying to make things better. Your viewpoint and how you view this working out is that you're going to have to move forward. Six of Swords. You do not feel as though you can hold on to this person. For many of you, you may have a situation that you feel is in, inevitably heartbreaking, a third-party situation. Again, I do think it's very possible uh, I feel as though both of you met at work. I feel as though this person, while you had the intention of, of loving them at a deeper level, they're not in this to do that. So what I do see is that they care about you deeply. There's a magic. There's a great chemistry. They do love you, but they don't, I'm not seeing in this particular situation, in this particular week, a willingness to leave a third party. So they feel as though they... They are heartbroken, right? When we look at this card, this person's heartbroken. They're sort of screaming from pain, you know, that sort of oof, intense energy. But, you know, they're not, I don't see them doing anything differently right now. What we do get here is that your, your, your take on this, secretly, what's not seen, is that you're kind of okay with the player energy. I mean, you've dealt with it. You've put up with it. You've, you know, you haven't really had much of a choice. There's nothing you can do. And what I'm seeing is that for right now, you would rather have this person in your life than to have them out of your life. I'm also getting the energy of the lover's card for them with the magician card for them. That's two major commas that are off the charts. With the temperance card, it really says that your person wants the best for you. They want you to be happy. They want you to love them. They want to do the best that they can do for you, knowing full well that there are pretty extreme limitations on what they can give you. 
The Lover's card, though, is all about making a choice. It is about, um, it, it's the energy that says that, but that they love you. You know, they love you. The Lover's card is love. When we look at how you view the situation from a spiritual standpoint, you really feel as though this person came into your life for a specific reason. They woke you up spiritually. They woke you up physically. They woke you up emotionally. They opened your heart again. And what I'm seeing for you, Gemini, is that from your person's perspective, they may not have a choice. Again, you both feel as though it, a split might be inevitable or distance between the two of you might be inevitable due to circumstances. When we look at the Wheel of Fortune and this is how you feel, you're basically willing to say, it is what it is, I'll let it be what it is. Um, you know, when it looks like, you know, you really love this person, this person is very passionate and very excited when they're in your presence. Um, you know, again, they want a new beginning and passion. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you're just going to, you know, go with the flow. And their feeling is that they're not ready to close out this relationship. They really feel as though there's a lot more to be done. They feel that there's a lot more time they could spend. They're trying to view this with a Pisces perspective, sort of a philosophical perspective. I do want to go ahead and clarify with Wellness uh, Time Oracle. Island Time Wellness, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to just clarify the difficult cards, okay? So when we see player energy for your person, how are they feeling? What does that mean for them? We see abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So they feel gratitude and bliss for having you in their life. So they feel as though they've been quite lucky. Why do you feel this Seven of Swords? Tell us something, Spirit, about the Seven of Swords energy here. I'm going to go ahead and give you the table shot again. The Seven of Swords energy right here is where you feel as though they're keeping secrets. Tell us something, Spirit, about whether this person is lying. Do they have any nefarious motives? Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So your person is going through a lot right now in terms of their life, and they're not telling you. They're just keeping it a secret. So that actually isn't as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> I was very concerned that that might prove that they were nefarious in some way. So I'm not really get the, getting this person as being quote-unquote nefarious. What is, why is the Ten of Wands here? Why are you just ready to give up on this? You really, oh goodness, it says concurring, you know, what we're getting here is you're really waiting for this person to arrive. And right now, you're waiting for a text or a phone call, uh, but you're feeling kind of hopeless about it is what it tells me. The energy for them with the Magician card is that many options, they have a decision, they are... Oh my goodness, okay. So the keys on a ring says that your person has a lot of options. They should make a decision. They have, you know, multiple people who they can be with. And we're getting unconventional string along, a one night stand. So they do not see this as anything more than a, you know, a season of their life. They don't, they are stringing you along in some way, which is what makes you feel like they might have disappeared on you on purpose. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Now, for many of you, you still work with this person, so it's interesting energy. Why is the Eight of Swords here for you at this time? Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, and falling in love. That's you, okay? Let's see what Temperance says for them. Their energy. Temperance is really reconciliation. It's wanting to make things work. So it looks as though the two of you might have been in separation or not seen each other for a while. But let's see what we have here. We're going to go with this one. I like you. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. They want to date. Fun flirting. So it does show that this person is having a sense of loss. Okay. They are having a sense of loss with that Three of Swords card. 
their emotion is feeling heartbroken about the situation. And, you know, I think for a lot of you, they see you as a wonderful person. They see you as a person who's given them a lot. They see you as a person with whom they've enjoyed spending time with. They think that you're magical. They think you bring a lot to the table. Let's look at the Knight of Wands energy. It says, have faith, love is coming. A surprise invitation or meeting. Okay. So it does look like your person is going to reach out to you soon. It does look like they want to see you soon. I'm getting that they're coming in with this player energy as you view it. But they're actually coming in as a lover for you. It looks like they're probably going to show more affection. They're going to be reflecting back to you that there is a sense of loss with the relationship. I feel as though early in the relationship, though, that they were, they didn't have the intention of sticking around. I get that this person probably is a tough person to, um, to hold down. Clock. Need time takes time. Time to heal and progress. These are healing cards. The Six of Swords and the, um, the Star card are cards of healing. So it does show that the two of you are healing. It looks as though the two of you had a fling. It looks as though both of you fell in love, possibly you more than them, but it does look like they love you now, and it looks like it's causing some turmoil for them. Again, Ace of Wands, they still want you in their life. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in um, the moment, and having fun. So what we're seeing here is that, you know, I don't really see this person leaving a third party, I get them feeling like it's inevitable that the relationship will end at some point, but right now they're really not in that energy. So before we close this out, let's get one more card for the sunglasses. Watching you, stalking you, focusing. So it does look like they're hiding behind sort of a, you know, they're just not telling you everything. They're just keeping their, their guard up. They certainly don't think this is going to last. That's not their intention, unfortunately, for you, Gemini. Let's look and see what your five outcome cards are for the week. Five outcome cards for Gemini for this week in love. Four of Swords, really feeling like you want to cry. Four of Swords, wow, okay. Five of Wands, there's conflict here in this situation for you. There's some sort of argument, something's going on. So let's see what else we have for an outcome card for you, Gemini. Seven of Swords, this person's being evasive. They're being tricky, they might even be lying, but they're not being very nice. Ten of Swords says that you may feel a betrayal, and the King of Pentacles says that it would be from somebody with whom you've worked with. So it does look like this person. I do get the Page of Swords flipped over in the deck. So the Page of Swords is here. So it looks as though right now, your person's really avoiding you. Ooh, I hate that. There's a lot of defensiveness. It's almost like they have betrayed you emotionally and they care about you enough to not want to have to face the details so to speak let's go ahead i'm going to look at the um the brian and wendy freed and the heart of the fairy oracle what is it about this person that gemini needs to know what is it about this person that gemini needs to know what is it about their energy that Gemini needs to know? It seems weird. Okay, there we go. There's a card. The crone. The crone energy is very much the energy that you have the wisdom, Gemini, to know. And you have the wisdom to know how this might end, okay? The queen of the golden bow. You're going to go forward. You're going to have a good life. You really do understand that. Let's see. Tell us more about this person's difficult ways. Oh. All right. I don't like to announce this, but I think that you already know it. That this person has not proven themselves to be 
or they have proven themselves to be full of a lot of BS. When we look at mushrooms growing in the dark, what do you do? You feed mushrooms manure, you put them in a dark place. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. A little bit difficult. Okay, so let's see what Wisdom of the Oracle has to say for you. So this person this week looks like they're really being sneaky, deaky, creepy, not nice. It really looks painful. They're very focused on their money, which you, you know, of course understand. But tell us something about, yeah, all that glitters is not gold. This person is not what they seem. They are not how they have advertised themselves to be, so to speak. They do not live up to the image that they've tried to project with you. They are hurt. They are, they are hurt by the relationship, the observer, okay? So your observations have given you this sort of crone wisdom. The queen of the golden bow is somebody who is going to move forward, and that's you, Gemini, with elegance, with grace, yang energy. You're just going to move forward. So you're going to leave this person to be who they are. You're going to let them fall back upon themselves. I do want to get, <laughs> I'm really bothered by the Seven of Swords. I'm very bothered at the fact that this person has come to care about you in a very deep way. And yet the willingness that they have to sort of cut you off or hurt you is, a, is disturbing to me. You know, it's just not the nicest energy. And this is from a person who fell in love, whether they wanted to or not. They did fall in love. Yeah, let's see. The Five of Swords, they operate like this. This When I get the Five of Swords energy, I'm seeing, uh, that's a shadow deck called the El Goliath Shadow Deck. Basically, what we're seeing is that they were once a victim, so they have a tendency now to act in very selfish ways to meet their own needs. It looks as though growing up, they've probably had a very, very tough life. Let's see what else we have. The shedding of the snake, the expansion. So as they move forward in their life, they're creating what they deem as success for themselves and that they're going to have it no matter what anybody else does. Temperance card, they are going to come back. They're going to come back, but I think you really have to take a lot of information into account. And I think you'll do what's right for you, Gemini, but you have wonderful new beginnings here if you should set sail on developing uh, new relationships, we have you in the Queen of the Golden Bow energy, which says that you will be deemed a real catch in the single life. People will be very attracted to you. The right people will be attracted to you, and they will. you'll have another chance in love. So, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love. Hope this helped. Bye-bye.